Positive relationships are kind of like the entry point to learning. And so you really have to create those conditions for kids to feel seen, to feel heard, um, to feel connected to you as the teacher or any adult that's there, as well as other children. Learning is really about taking risks and being vulnerable, and it's impossible to do that without astutely paying attention to the level of relationship building. I think a lot of times social-emotional learning is really seen as common sense and of course everyone knows how to be in relationship with each other. And that may be true to a certain extent in a one-on-one -on -one situation, um, but when we're talking about classrooms and schools, we're really talking about building a system of relatedness and connections. It takes practice and really being intentional about what you're doing as an adult and eventually, you know, what kids are doing with each other, how they're speaking with each other, how they're resolving problems to really create that ecosystem within the classroom and then ultimately that, that organization, if you will, of the school. You have your students, you have your parents, you have your community members, you have the principals. So really how you were getting all those relationships to be in alignment and in sync to create like a fertile soil in a way for students to thrive and to be able to learn. People are motivated to work toward a mission, to work toward a vision um, when they feel seen and heard and when they're in relationship with people. And so at every level, really the intentionality um, as a leader to really focus on how you're building those relationships and taking it to a systems level, some of the rituals and routines, right, that you're building um, so that hopefully as one individual exits that role, that ecosystem can sustain itself over time.